Okay, Dr. Payan, what are we doing today? Hello, so today we will uh, define the notion of span and we also determine when a vector is in a span or not. Nice. And at the same time, we'll also figure out how to determine a system is consistent without solving it. Nice. Ooh. Okay, so here's a question, and this is, I think, problem 18 in section 1.3 of Lay. So, for which h? I like those problems that determine for which constant is that true. I so see. So, for which h is the vector h minus 5 minus 3 in the span of the vectors 1, 0, minus 2, and minus 3, 1, 8. Now, what is the span? Intuitively, it's the information that's contained in those vectors. Information here means in terms of linear combinations. So the span is just a set of linear combinations of those two vectors. In other words, the set of, you know, uh, set of expressions of the form a times the first vector plus b times the second vector where a and b can be anything. So the question is then, are there a and b such that, that if you take a linear combination of those two vectors, so a times 1, 0, minus 2, plus b times minus 3, 1, 8, equals to our vector here h minus 5 minus 3. In other words, again, can you take a steps in this direction and b steps in this direction to attain this vector h minus 5 minus 3? And notice, equivalently, it just means, is this system consistent? So the question is then, is this system 1, 0, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 8, h minus 5, minus 3, consistent. In other words, does the system have a solution? And be very careful. I'm not saying find a solution. I'm just saying, does it have a solution? But well, even though this question is there, we still have to row reduce. So let's row reduce this matrix. All right, so let's see, one minus three, zero, one, minus two, eight, and then h minus five, minus three. So first of all, let's try to eliminate this minus two. So let's add two times the first row to this row, and we get one minus three h, 0, 1, minus 5, and then 0, minus 6 plus 8, which is 2, and then 2h minus 3. Okay, so that's good. This 1 is here, and then let's try to eliminate this 2. So let's subtract 2 times the second row from the third row, and we get, I believe, um, 1 minus 3h, 0, 1 minus 5, and then let's see, 0, 0, and then I believe, so 2h minus 7. Okay. So the question is then, for which h is this consistent? And for this, you need a very important fact that tells you exactly when a system is consistent. So fact, ax equals to b is consistent if and only if there is no row of the form, in this case, a bunch of zeros and something non-zero, or star is non-zero. Okay, so let's check. 
Well, the first, first so again, this is in row echelon form. Uh, the first row, well, it cannot be of the form zero, zero something because there's this one here. So that's good. The second row, there cannot be a row of the form zero, zero something because of this one here. And well, let's see. The third row, well, it could be of the form zero, zero something if this is non-zero. So the only way the system is inconsistent is if this is non-zero. In other words, the only way this is consistent is if this thing is zero. Mm. So in other words, we want 2h minus 7 to be zero. So h would be 7 halves. Ah. So this is very interesting. There is precisely one value of h, such that this vector is in the span of those two vectors, namely, is h equal 7 halves. I see. Yeah. And the interpretation is the span of those two other vectors, well, it's a plane. Uh -huh. And well, there's precisely one value where this other vector is precisely in the plane. And that is for h equals to 7 halves. Oh, for all the other values, it's not in that plane. Oh, it's nice. It's very neat. And remember this fact, it's super, super useful. Cool. All right, yes, and that's all for today. So if you want to learn more math, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Woo! Woo!